right, this is where I can do something like this. So I can, I, since I can't see my right. screen, actually, and you can watch your own screen. yes, and I can look at how to position the phone. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yesterday was the last. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Now I'm good. Now I'm good. log into my Twitter account.
Okay, y'all hear me? So the next talk, you guys know Samantha. I am so proud of this kid. And she's been working on this presentation really hard. So I want y'all to put your hands together for Samantha Rose. What's in the dock? 
So if we uncomment that, and we comment just this one, and this needs to be read because all of these need to be imported, which is another line of code that is not needed in this. So if you can imagine, work with me here, this component would get very, very big. You have an array of all of the animations that you want. This could be monstrous, and it's not needed. It could be a lot prettier. So let's undo that, re-comment that out, and let's, let's start this. Okay, so we're going to look at the animation for grow. Okay, so first we went over the import statement, and the next exporting this function, so grow, the trigger is grow, when you call it in other, so this is the function, grow. So when you call it in other files, that's the name you're going to be using. So on line four, I prefer to have only two states. And states are what they are. As you can see, my states for grow are either going to be small or large, and there's no other system. Okay, so for me, it's small or large in this function. When it's small, it's transformed to a field of one, which means it's not transformed at all. This is the default, this is the basis of where it starts. So when it's large, it's transformed to a 1.4. So it just gets a little bit bigger. And we see the transition from any state to any state is an animate time of 200 milliseconds. Right? We go back to PowerPoint. Keep on rolling here. We go to the component, and we're going to see this flawless, beautiful, reusable animation. Code. So, right here on line 24, we see the grow toggle, and it's toggled because it's toggling to small and large, right? So, we see the state is passing in the state, which is either going to be small or large again. And we see that it starts with small because that's, that's the default, that's one. It's going from small to large. If it's not large, it's small. Okay. So moving right along, we go to the template. We're going to look here. And right here is grow. And here you see, grow ignore that. <laughs> Take that out of there. It's just grow. For right now. We'll show if that's like my grandson. So, grow, ID grow is just the CSS purpose, it's just to style it. Uh, grow is the trigger, and that's the state. Well, you're passing in the state, which is either small or large, right? So the trigger equals either small or large, which is the state. And the state can change, which you'll see that in a minute. So, and then the click, it calls the function, grow toggle, and it goes from small part to small. And that's it. It's so simple. It's so awesome. Isn't that awesome? Your file. Say your file. Oh. <laughs> okay, so client. So we're going to go over here and look at client. You see? Slide to the right. Slide to the left. Okay, so it slides back and forth when you click it. So now we're not going to go too deep into this. We're just going to look at that really quick. So we're going to look at the animation because it's basically the same. It's so simple. It's beautiful. And slide and these slide grow fade. You can name that anything you want. So that can literally be named anything. I could have named it Sam. It's awesome. Anything. So we see if we just look really quick, the only thing that's really changed is this line 18 and 19. So in and out, you see how it slides, which is in, and it slid back, which is out. And it's translated. It moves this time instead of just getting bigger, which is scale. So now it's transformed. So translate zero zero zero, which is the default. That's where it starts. That's where it is. When it's out, when it slides, it's translated 150 percent to the right. And these can you can change it to whatever you want. I just found that this is the smoothest transition to me. And you see on 20 and 21, this code is a little bit longer than our grow function, and I just wanted to include this because this is how I originally had it before. I had a meeting with Dominic Elm who showed me the any to any state. So this is a little bit longer, and but if you want to have different times between transitions, if you want to go out 400 milliseconds, back in 200 milliseconds, so this is how you could do that from in to out and out to in. But if you just have to do the same, just save yourself some time and make it easier. 
on itself. Still fade. We're just gonna go really quick and look at that. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna see that it goes out. And then it comes right back in. And now let's go look at the animation. In here, for fade. You see? Pretty much exactly the same as the other two. It's very simple. It's very cool. There is invisible, invisible, and opacity is one and point one. I have a point one, you can be zero, but if you move your mouse away, you're never gonna be able to find it again. You're gonna have to press the page six button back. It's just a lot of trouble. So point one works. Okay. So we keep going here. Oh no, okay. So we do a little bit of live code adventure. So, row two here, and this is what I didn't take out. So this is very cool. This is really great if you have, say, an about page and a home page. And on the home page, you want it to animate at a speed of 200 milliseconds. And on the about page, you want it to be slower for some reason. And you want it to go 2,000 milliseconds. This is how you can do that. You change, you define the time in the component. And it's still very reusable. As you can see, it's still in the animation recipe page. But you define the time in the component. So let's, let's do that. So we go over to this component. And we, okay, yeah, you see? Okay, I really wanted to let it on the stage, so I'm just gonna take it out and put it back in my bed. So this is what it looks like. And we have Grow, this is the regular one. And we're gonna put it back in. And it's gonna be really cool, you guys have never seen this before. And here we add the time. So just like that, if we save it and we go back, we'll see that our grow function is considerably longer than the other two. It takes a lot longer for it to grow and for it to go back to its original size than the other two work, right? Yeah. So let's review some concepts. Imports browser versus NOAA. Basically, if you want to do unit testing, you want to just mock the functionality of having animations in your project, you would use NOAA or NOOF. I think we've done more too, but I've been told it's actually NOAA. But anyway, browser animation module, actually, your animations are actually there and they're there. For basic animations, you learn word grow, fade, and slide. And I have a repo that is on my GitHub, and it actually has this, so if you want to go through my code, please do. And display animation. They're great for just-in-time compilation if you want to hide that load time. They're awesome. So, I want to thank Dominic Elm a lot for helping me with my presentation, and Denny for consistently pestering me until I got this done, and everybody who has encouraged me and helped me and said inspirational words because you guys are reason. So thank you guys. <laughs> 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 that was awesome.